Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines, beginning with your forecast and Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth. Dave? We've got the winter weather advisory that goes until 4 a.m. The area here is the northern suburbs of Metro Detroit and down to the south. One to two, one to two inches widespread. Some spots might go to three. Tuesday, peaks of sunshine in the morning and then 39 for high. Late in the day, 5, 6 o'clock, there could be a little mixed shower, rain and snow together. That shouldn't bother the roads at all. But there will likely be some slippery spots, obviously, in the morning with temperatures starting out below freezing. Be aware of that. 41 on Wednesday, late in the day, a higher chance of rain than anything else just because it's warmer. Still warm Thursday at 48. Then it starts to drop off. We're back to the 30s this coming weekend. And once we get there, we stay there next week. New information about a seawall collapse along the Detroit River that may have led to contamination. Officials say pressure from a pile of gravel caused a 100 foot portion of the seawall to collapse into a boat slip Friday afternoon. As a result, soil behind the seawall fell into the river. The state is now testing that soil for potentially hazardous materials. And the search is on to find whomever broke into and vandalized Congresswoman Debbie Dingell's Dearborn office. It happened Monday on West Outer Drive near Michigan Avenue. A spokesperson for Dingell says Dearborn police responded immediately and the United States Capitol Police are assisting in the investigation. Neither the Congresswoman nor staff members were at the office at the time. Dingell releasing a statement saying she is deeply concerned about the break in and items of her late husband, former Congressman John Dingell, were damaged. It's been one month since 18 year old Brendan Santo disappeared at Michigan State University. Tonight, investigators focusing on the Red Cedar River. MSU police consulting with water experts to better focus their search efforts. So far, they've used sonar and canines. Santo was last seen leaving Yakely Hall on campus shortly before midnight on October 29th. Police still do not believe foul play contributed to his disappearance.